Hi, I'm Brandis Davis with the City of San Antonio's Human Resources Department, and this is Job of the Week. Today we're here at our headquarters for our Solid Waste Management Department, and I've got my friend Rachel with me. Hi, Rachel. Hi, good afternoon. My name is Rachel Bautista, Recycling Coordinator. Great, thank you for having us. You're welcome. Okay, Rachel, so what job are we talking about today? Um, today we're talking about um, the recycling coordinator we need for the multifamily division that deals with apartments and the commercial sector reworks SA division. Okay, so it sounds like the solid waste management department is looking for a recycling coordinator to help with some key initiatives for the department. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about this role? So this role you have to balance two programs. The reworks SA is about commercial helping businesses improve or start a recycling program. And with that we have different um, programs we can help with free resources and then the multifamily division is more about assisting and sustaining uh, an ordinance that passed in 2010 requiring apartments to recycle. Oh, okay. Well, I know that I live in an apartment and I know where I live, we have a recycling bins and they come and pick up the recycling. So I'm sure that a lot of people are familiar with the recycling efforts of the city. Yes, a lot, a lot of people are, but there are still some confusion out there with the ordinance. So as a coordinator, sometimes I go and explain to the manager and owner about the requirements and fulfilling it because there are different setups mm -hmm. for to be able to fulfill that ordinance. Okay, um, and so what kinds of things would the recycling coordinator do in a typical day? Um, for a coordinator for the multifamily section, it's all about inspections. You're going to have a, to be able to do routes, a lot of driving, do because we do have routine, and then we do have implementation for the ones that uh, popped up as new apartments, and then we do have monitor for a little bit of the ones that struggle with the ordinance, so we have to still go and assist and remind them. Okay, well, it sounds like someone in this position, um, no two days will be alike. I mean, be no, oh. no, no two days will be alike because also now we also remember we have to assist with the reworks essay division, which is for the businesses and mm -hmm. with them, it's awesome, it's fun, it's great because you're assisting, but at the same time, because there's so many different businesses out there, mm -hmm. you're learning with them. So that's the best part about being a coordinator for in this position with reworks essay. You help and learn at the same time. So we help with our free resources that we have online. We explain to them, give them a consultation, and then from there, help them set up. Even though we don't collect, we will connect them to other haulers that can help provide that service. Oh, okay, so not only does this person, you know, working with the apartments and the multifamily units, but then they're also working with local businesses and institutions to get them set up with recycling programs. Right, it's all about collecting connecting the businesses to solutions that work that mm -hmm. that's our main thing it's all um, it's not a one business or us by ourselves being able to help all these businesses it's mm -hmm. about a community and there is a great amount of businesses out there willing to provide that sustainability effort to help out Great. Well, I know that teamwork is definitely one of the city's core values, so it makes perfect sense that it doesn't only mean teamwork within the city, but also teamwork with our community partners. Yes, it's all about being partnering, networking, so we do have events, so expect as a coordinator to help with projects, help um, prepare for events, and be at events, and at, so that's a lot of outreach we do for reworks, and then as well, going back to the multifamily, like I said, mm -hmm. it's all about being able to balance um, there is also presentations we do at apartment complex apartment complexes that request okay. a presentation. And does this person work in a team or individually? How does this work? Um, as a team, we, we do do a lot of projects, but at the same time, because the coordinator does go on field a lot, there are going to be times where it's going to be you as an individual and you have to have good judgment about mm -hmm. each scenario. Everybody's different. Every apartment can be different. The setup and as well businesses from hotels to office space it can be different. Okay, Rachel. Well, is there anything else you'd like to share with our viewers about this position? It's just, it's a fun opportunity, like I said. And you, you assist, but at the same time, you learn from the community. And if you like the environment and you're all about sustainability, this is the team to work with. We're all about helping with projects and helping look for the next new thing to be able to assist the commercial sector, which is something new that the city is doing 
in San Antonio. Great. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you for having us. Yeah. Well, in addition to everything that Rachel said, the ideal candidate for this position should have at least a bachelor's degree and two years of experience in recycling or anything related to conservation, teaching, or the like. Also, you get bonus points if you can fluently speak, read, and write mm -hmm. in Spanish, and you will need a driver's license just because you will need to be out in the field and going to different locations and outreach meetings and things like that. So if being a recycling coordinator sounds like a great job to you, then I do encourage you to go onto our website at www.sanantonio.gov forward slash careers to apply. Also, if you like this video, I encourage you to click that thumbs up button, mm -hmm. comment down below, and subscribe. See you next week. Bye.